Commander, it's time we put Advent down for the count. This will be a two-pronged assault. First, we hack the heart of the Advent Tower and disrupt their network before the speaker finishes his latest broadcast. Shen's cooking up a little surprise for them that should more than get their attention. With Advent in an uproar, we'll access the portal and take the fight to their front door. All goes well, they won't even see us coming. It's risky, but it's the best shot we'll get. Once we start this, there's no turning back. Greetings, hello and welcome back to one more long more of the Chosen Highlander campaign episode. We are assaulting the network tower. We've got eight people here. And I took all the um, all the perks that you could buy, and we have the la very large map version. All right. Move to infiltrate the network tower. Locate the access point and hack in to seize the broadcast signal. Oh, that's gonna get loud once we get closer to there. So we have um, some have a little bit more concealment than others. But I've heard we have at least one concealment somewhere. Ah, can he get, oh, wait, we can actually move now. All right. Well, some people only have one concealment, but look at that. I have a, a seven, eight times squad side. Ah, huh? can't compete with, no, you also have five times squad side. I should not have bought all those perks. Anyway, unlike the regular network tower you play during the campaign to liberate regions, this one ends the moment we have the objective. Um, so technically you can kind of cheese this mission actually, you know, just give somebody a bunch of teamwork and command actions and then just you know, highway to the danger zone, run them all in there and, and hack the objective in one turn. And we've done that in the past, I, but I wanted to play this one uh, more or less properly. Now, the only problem is, uh, you know, I've had missions where I was then going along this side and didn't encounter any enemies and we ended up hacking with like 20 enemies still on the map. We'll see how it goes. Bestätigt. Rücke aus. We do have some, some good scouting here, so we can hopefully cover a good part of the map to see where the enemies are. And, you know, take them out. Tell me and, and not for dinner. This place. Moving here. Right, um, I know that was asked in the comments already, but I kind of wanted to comment on it also here. Um, our marine always starts with an empty slot in the clip, in the magazine, um, which is because of the proficiency bonus, giving um, them an extra man's extra shot. And that is only applied once the mission starts, so unlike like an expanded magazine, which is applied, right and which there. you can see I'll also the effect in the barracks. Me. This is applied at mission start, and so you kind of end up one ammo short. Right. So the squad here, by the way, is a um, large part, portion of the squad is, is TT squad here uh, with then some help in some positions like proper high-ranking sniper with our Naja and some close-range support. You know, a, a fancy, healthy mix of classes. Uh, and we spawn absolutely nothing in that direction. And I'm just gonna spoil it. We probably also absolutely spot nothing in that direction. Key. Point by me. In that case, let's just uh, give a move on. So my guess at the moment is that we're going to have a very busy um, 
back portion of the map. So let's see how that goes. Now, one of the um, bonuses we got from, from using Intel on the, the mission bonus, right, is hypnography. All enemies have 50% reduced willpower. And we do have Birko here with Void Rift. He does have the best Psy Amp, Psy Underlay, that we can build. So we'll see how that goes. I think two types probably just gonna sit here and then snipe stuff over there for the rest of the mission. You don't have to tell me twice. And the main part of the squad here is just gonna advance. I'll be there, stat. On this side. On my way. Rolling out. Those kids. That's uh, definitely an enemy or two. I do hear some. I think I heard some sector pod sounds. Been on yeah, that took a long time between me clicking the button. Oh yeah, that's um okay. Mm. Right. Yeah, there are multiple enemies, as you said. That is, yes. There most certainly are. That is indeed correct. Good observation. Can I again? No. Moving to designated coordinates. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's all I'm thinking here. Feet to Any chance? I mean, it's so full here. I don't think anyone could be here to actually spot me on that spot. Not not brave enough. Now, so the problem of us having individual concealment is that, for example, I will not get any value from here uh, weapon sort. Uh, well, we will remain concealed. Reloading. While we open up with whatever way we open up, I actually don't know yet. I mean, like if they are clumped like this, it's got to be a grenade or the void rift. Trigger fingers all itchy. Or you know, some something with fire. All this walking's wearing me out. Are actually coming inside? I 
and those guys are moving away. I think they're moving away far enough that I don't have to worry about them. So, like, you retain concealment anyway. Uh, you only see stuff here in this room. So... The fact that we got hypnography and everybody's willpower is reduced, like, let me, let me just see, you know, insanity chances. Like, you've got a 100% chance of insanity on all targets. Which could lead to mind control, which could lead to fancy um, secondary effects. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, I think I'm gonna use my first action for a nice little merch here. I'm gonna rift this place. The game does not like this. <laughs> the Edda is already running away. It's like, screw that. They're all going crazy. I'm spotted. Oh, oh, we got a mind control on the Edda. Okay. What X is panicked? Dromedon is running away. Oh, okay. Well, that might not have been exactly what I wanted here. So who did we... okay, we, we have the adder mind controls, which, you know, it's probably going to take two shots for us or so, and that's it then. So I'm thinking... Definitely going to teamwork here. See if we can follow that up with a nice... Good old vortex grenade somewhere out here. Like, the, the the one that is not panicked or just having a bad day here is the Leviathan, and that's not a problem. Like, we've got so many ways to kill him, he doesn't even know it yet. Okay. Everybody fairly unimpressed from that. Okay. Fair enough. Um, can we launch a nice little blinding protocol over there? I think we have do we have that thing where we have a chance to panic the guys. Uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky and panic. Custodian and Muton and I think another guy. Okay. And that worked. And the rest is disoriented.
I'm not concerned about the Berserker, I'm not concerned about the Sidewinders back here. So what I'm concerned about at the moment is whoever can still take an action over here. So the Andromedon, the Sidewinder. Probably that, that Centurion. Active 19. Okay. Um, where's the mech at? There. But hang on. You probably have a good shot at the Andromedon ish. So I did bring a bunch of Titan armor, so we could we do go Titan striking galore. Of course the risk of activating something else over here. Would be reason enough to not do that. Let me just get over here. Coming. We should go. So burning rush means that my basic attacks do not uh, take an action or do not add to my lava. I guess I missed everything. No, oh, killed this thing. Alright, cool. Then I think we can fastball like a... Maybe even a neurotoxin grenade over here? Ah, no. Can't reach the mech. And I feel like the, the, the Andromedon Plague Barrage cares very little about that kind of grenade. Don't really have the range to, to get anyone there with a grenade. Uh, who are we gonna target? So it takes care of the sidewinder, takes care of the, the decimator. Don't think it will do anything to the plague baron. We do have fastball active, so we should throw something somewhere. I mean, one option is, of course, to just gas grenade the fine folks here in the room with me. Just line aside on that Centurion, by the way. Yeah, you know what? I thought the regular first grass grenade. It blocks our movement here a little bit, but we all have most of us have Titan armor, which makes us immune to the effect of the grenade. So yeah. Oh, and we got Chilled from from bleed calls here. That's unfortunate, but still we can take care of the rest So that still leaves us with the Andromeda and the mech as immediate problems here Mm 
with the Leviathan over here. We need to take care of it. Let me just do that first. Casual, casual turn for Cloud, yeah. Can you blow up? Nobody that I really care about. I think we might just move you in a little bit, get some line of sight. Or maybe, you know what, I'll, I'll move you here so I can actually see what's happening over on the bridge. Don't think anyone will get in range to actually flank you. Alright, so this guy's also panicked. Kim shut up. And then we have Maybe we're just gonna take another shot here. Like 15 HP is not gonna die from the poison anytime soon, so Alright. So Side right now is gonna get suppressed by the Philip Thrower. Dromedon also, but might panic from that, but I'm not gonna bank on it. So, Mech, Centurion, Spectre. Not sure if the Spectre can do his nasty stuff from um, while well, disoriented. That brings me back to you. Let's see what we can do with the Andromeda on here. Right, apparently we can remove it from the game. Um, maybe we'll actually dead eye. Maybe a dead eye isn't necessary. Yeah, maybe we should actually second part of the Andromedon. Holy crap, some, someone is coming. Uh, and bring the pain. Did I even leave anything for you? Not really. Can probably pick up some kills over there. The risk is activating something back here, which I don't want to take right now. Well, I think first of all, Werewolf's gonna come up here. We shot at the mech, kill that. Spot it. Double time in it. Hopefully killing the mech. They say there's nothing harsher than a long winter. Guess they never met me. All right, so Spectre gets in action, and these three guys in the back get in action. Everything else is under control. So can we do anything about the Spectre? Unfortunately, you don't have Titan armor, so you can't actually... You're not immune to that poison. 
Didn't think that one through, eh? Did I? Would have flanking shots from up here. No, let's get up there. Take one shot at Spectre. See where we at. I will survey that area. Straight in, she would engage with me now. Eighty-five. That's not horrible. Raised. I want to say somewhat unlikely that you get the kill with the second shot. So why don't we just? Because I want to be untouchable and all that good jazz, so we just shoot this guy. And if things go wrong, we still have an action here for rescue protocol. Found a subject. So I kind of want to be a target for the Spectre, but not a target for the for the snakes over there, which I can do by just going out here. We should go here. Okay. Enemy spotted. Oh. That's just because of the bonus range. Okay, um, I'll move you it's down here. So in full cover. Alright, so it's just the suppression and not much else to do for you. You could. Eh. Look, it's coming in. Not doing much. Snakes are double moving. I do hear sectopod sounds in the background. They're taking the bait on the untouchable. Wonderful. Ah, let's see. Got an 88 on this guy. Think you have a shredder ammo? No, you have illegal rounds, but you have shredder perk. So maybe even do some focus fire here. Negative. We miss that. Okay, that's not great. Those guys need to chill. Not actually sure how long that that mind control is lasting. Now, what are we going to do over here? Can we dead eye this guy? Possibly. Well, we can dead eye him. The question is, is that enough for a kill? Not if we don't roll a crit. It's down to ten health.
I don't necessarily want to waste any more grenades if I don't have to. I'm not sure yet how we deal with those two guys. Uh, I think Cloud here needs to deal with the Berserker. to go, right? This is killing an enemy of a primal rod. Okay. I must forget if there was any other requirements for this kill, like flanked enemy or whatever else. But no. Let's say can't use flesh for this. Alright, okay. I think you just All move right. and then shoot the custodian. How's it feel getting your arse kicked by a girl? Okay. By the way, I didn't even check uh, my, my mind control here. How much longer are you, my friend? Two alien turn starts. Okay, cool. I'm using the term friend here very liberally. Um, what are we doing with you? We could just acid blob some over there. Don't even have a range for that. I'll try taking some shots again from here. So gives me Lana's side on the um, on the two snakes down here. Yeah, this time I don't have the scanner, so it's not it's not getting any better. That's the concern here. So I'm thinking that Boomer can probably deal with these. Not really, because I'm slowed down. Maybe if a Titan Strike here? Just to get that little bit extra mobility so I can get over here. But then I'm not sure, I don't think that's actually in range for a suppression. Alright, I do have two actions because of Reflex. Might as well take that reload and take my hit and run shot and see where we go from there. Just... You know what? If we get the Zift 17% grace, may maybe we get the 23% crit, eh? Actually, not how that works. Okay. 
This is my surprised face. Um, 12 mouth. He's, he's gonna horror somebody. I can already see that. Okay, I think I still wanna do this. This Titan Strike is fun. That helps with the line of sight here. So it's not in range. It is in range for this. But that still means we have this little problem here. And this little problem here. A good command for a shot. Thing is ruptured. You do have execution, I'm fairly certain. That won't be a terrible shot. Poisoning. Does that mean you take damage? Taking damage each turn. Okay. I, I hope you're not immune to that. That would be kind of rude if you were. So you come up here. Finish off this gentleman. Did you see that one? I'm just gonna do a normal emulator attack on these two. What's the chance to hit? Nobody knows because it would be weird to sh actually show you what your hit chance is, right? It's like my biggest complaint with the. Um, any class that uses this weapon category. Nice overwatch. Looks like you only have one target. Now here's the thing, right? We all have squad side, if I'm not mistaken. That was part of the deal here. Shouldn't we be able to... Ah, you know what? Better idea. Let's find a volunteer to run that overwatch. Ooh, that's slug shot value. I'd love to see that. Let's move to this sector. Forget that. Right, so technically we killed them all. Well, we still need to get rid of our snake friend. Copy that. I'm on my way. 
don't think there's a there's a way to actually get that loot in a safe manner. But what we could do though is get you to the front. Draw that battle scanner over here on the other side. Where the stomp sound is coming from. Interesting. Well, in that case... This is so dumb. We don't need loot. <laughs> but there's shiny on the ground. I can't... Can't leave shiny on the ground. We got. We gotta get this next turn somehow. Uh, I actually think I'll need to reload you, and then we rescue Protocol you out of there. I'm going. I'm on it, Captain. Hey, pass up, watch out! Oh, and I should have I should have concealed Maria. That was the original plan, the OG plan. Uh, right, yeah, this thing. Bring you back in here. Affirmative. Covering now. And you can shoot up there. Okay. Right, and just like that, the gas cloud is gone, so we can actually rush through here. Celia, is this the position? Like, if we're fighting inside here, this building might actually completely block any line of sight that I might have. So I think we gotta gotta dash toot up around a little bit, and we wait for Maria to actually be in concealment here. So let's just chill the turn, reload the turn, or watch the turn. Do your business or get out of the latrine. Make the call soon, because stalling's not a good color on you. Fein gesichtet. So, here's a question. We all have squad side, right? So I could actually take the shot here. Make sure you're in a position where that, that doesn't bother you if we make that shot. And maybe also you. And we've got a master sergeant promotion. 
pushing up. Need cover. Now, we would have had plenty of Master Sergeants to actually run these missions fully with Master Sergeant, both of them, but I kind of felt like some people in the squad, even though they never made Master Sergeant, definitely deserved one of the um, final two missions. Is that another drone here? Yeah. And where's the rest? I hear Andromedon stomping from here. And I guess the sector pod is in here somewhere. Although I don't see any smashed walls. I see smashed walls here. I think we can start moving up a little bit. Um, I'm just staying at the at the corner that doesn't peek around towards the enemy. So we're not getting any additional sight here. I kind of want to take a look what's happening over there, <coughs> but I think I'm, I'm getting too far away from my squad, right? You're not just a scout, you're also the officer, and you need to be close by. actually continue scouting here because there's a window you can't get through. I think we're just gonna throw a little bubble scanner. Oh, he's on top of the whole thing. Right, so we've got like what six enemies here. So there's a, the, the the wall destruction over there is then in, in the end from it on we keep hearing. Also oh, I can't get through there. Hmm. We should head this way. Oh, where did the drone go? I think we're just gonna sneakily jump through those windows and block actually the way to the roof. That was smart. That was yep. all the places I could have moved to. I guess this is the drone that was in the front here before. Possibly. Cover me. Double time. It's going to be an interesting engagement. So where do we position you? I think I think up here might be my best option.
Okay, let's get you away from that thing. And then I can bring you around to the top. Hopefully giving some line of sight on the roof. Come on. Don't be shy. I click you go. Nope. So here's the question, right? We have the beam grenade launcher. Need to be a little bit closer, but we can certainly drop an egg up top. For my cup here. It's getting tense. Hey, drop shock and rock. And bring you up there, possibly. I mean, you do have, I think, fairly small detection radius. Let's just, just dash. If we activate, we've got rescue protocol. We've got all actions in the team still available. If we don't activate, we can plan an activation for next turn. That is, that is, uh, as a group and a half. Double Devastator. Military Assault Mag Sector Pods. Holy crap. Um, now, I'm talking about crap though. It's kind of a crap position. It would be a real shame if that's. That explodey barrel will blow up and you would lose your footing here. So the problem of doing it now is of course I don't have any action here on the rear left. Um, but then they might move next turn and spot me and scatter and everything, take yellow alert shots, I don't know what, so maybe I just really want to do this. Um, we also saw two max and an Archon, I think, down there. So that puts us at what? Four and three, seven enemies here. So we have a group of five somewhere on our flank. Um, Yeah, I don't have salvo, so you're not getting a free action. So I think we're gonna mind merge Xanthalus. Oh, God. nothing here can be flanked. Two max Archon. No, the, nothing here takes cover. So you're actually gonna be, I don't wanna say worthless, but of, of limited value. So I think we're actually gonna. Uh, Get clouds mind merged. And then a nice cozy grenade. Hang on, hang on a second here. I could throw a grenade. 
before you so rudely interrupted me that hit them all and hit the the, the, the explody thing. You can't take that away from me. Weapon sort. Alright. Look at this guy up top. This guy here. Uh, what do we? What? What do you eagle eyes see? Everything. Everybody. Eighty-four. And you've got the blue screen rounds. Okay. On the other hand, you are already kind of locked in on this target. Two mechs and they're kind of annoying. I can't. I can't really risk activating them. All right, give me a burning rush for an extra move. Thing is, getting up on the roof means walking for this tile. From this tile, we definitely see the mechs. Unless we just say, yes, yeah, screw it, we're going in. Might be fun. This might be fun after all. Here's the thing. Yeah, they go into Overwatch, but I don't see I don't see the other Devastator, okay? But I can see Don't Devastate do I not see the Devastator? Don't you guys have Vortex grenades or something like that? Black flame grenades? Why can I not fuse that? I feel cheated and lied to. Betrayed and all of that. Yeah, that clears the overwatch. Um, let's roll an axe. All right. I can fire my weapon at the Devastator, but I can't throw my axe at him. All right, cool. No, that's that's cool. That makes ah uh, yeah. Now that you mention it, yeah, it makes sense. <clears throat> Again, I could just go here and mission, but that's not no 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 no. Not here for that. Because um, I think this is where the fun begins. Uh, let's just just come in here. Target in range. Move to hack the command console. Yeah. Not doing any of that. Ah, this guy. Mm. 
doesn't want to be on this planet anymore. Uh, yeah, you're burning rush here. Yeah. Uh, I think you can also come up here. Come up here, then you're on a fastball, an acid grenade on this to mix here. Yeah? We set this joke on fire. Game. Okay. So far, so good. I feel like I should have had another attack there with thousands to go, but it is what it is. Gives you additional mobility, which means you can actually reach that guy and set yourself on acid. That's sick. It's always the same here. Um, could grapple over here and then charge in on this guy up top. Yeah, that's the thing still, right? We have a sector pod we need to kill and a hummingbird up top. Uh, what are your odds to shut him down? 62 for that. Military assault mechs have a higher hack defense than sector pods. Shut the hell up. I can fail save that. I still have two actions, right? So we could fail save. Um, that's actually. I'm not worried about the Archon, by the way. We can just tank that with untouchable combatives, whatever. Um, That helps. That certainly helps. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so in that case, I think we're gonna do instead a focus fire on the military assault mech. And shoot him or something. Uh, it. Them. We got a shutdown, eh? Shutdown two. He's he's out. It's down for the count. So this guy's on fire. Uh, this guy is burning from acid. This guy is probably gonna get ignored. I think we're gonna grapple up here. Zip line here. And can bury blade this guy. Because he's shut down, he's not gonna do his close combat shot. Why? There was a perfectly valid letter up. Oh no, that's blocked. Never mind. Okay. Um cool. And you can come down here. Let's go to this area. Uh, I should have moved you actually next to that guy. 
then I could have sliced it once, or I could have just, you know, charged in the first place. It's fine. Excuse me. Aren't you enraged and should be meaning? more enemies. I think, I think we want to clean up here, right? We don't just want to hack and go home. You don't have to tell me twice. I have squat side on this guy. What are you going to do with the squat side, eh? Wave your flamethrower in that direction. Boosting. No need to ask twice. What's this place there? Resupply. See an Andromedon, I see an Archon, and I think I saw a Codex. This all activates already. So I kind of want to do another um, um, void rift just because we haven't taken advantage of that yet enough. So maybe we just wake them up, wake them up inside. Let's see where they go to. Questionable. Oh, oh, call Sky Ranger. Why? Why can I even call Sky Ranger from down here? That's a button up there. Secondary effect on the other Andromedon. That's kind of disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm lost line of sight on this guy. Okay. Let's uh, open the store here. We can't line of sight on that guy. Um, how about. That certainly works. There's one way to do that. Okay. 
wondering if this is just a matter of, yeah, I can probably grapple there, but it hasn't updated yet because we just opened the door. So let's move somebody else. Actually, can't grapple. How can you teamwork? What? That is okay. So, you can actually teamwork from squad side in this mission. If you buy the bonus, interesting. Um, so I think I can command you, and then you can burial blade here, move in, and slash pew pew the other Andromedon. That's great. Another drone. Uh, so we get the free move. Enemy barrier there. Now, the problem is that I don't get untouchable this turn. Okay. But I think we can um, support a little bit here. Take shot. Cloud comes in from the top rope. And don't mind the swirly mist on the ground. Should have been untouchable, right? Fairly certain Cloud is untouchable, but I guess untouchable doesn't help against this thing. Alright, anyway, um, let's just finish it. So, maybe we still need to hack the fan. No, no. Good thing we brought range tacking here. Ooh, PCS. Status confirmed. We have control of the network tower. The signal is going out. 
Ich bin aufgeflogen. Alright, um, we're gonna have one cutscene. Uh, that cutscene is usually a little bit louder, and it's one of the, the, the two cutscenes in the game that I actually uh, play in, in every single campaign because I just like um, what's, what we can see in that cutscene. So, headphones warning. Well done, Doctor. Yes, it would appear the feedback pulse is having the intended effect. Shen, status. Did it work? Advent assures us this breakthrough will be available to all citizens immediately. We go live to the speaker for more. Fellow citizens, for 20 years we have put our trust in Advent, in the elders, because we believe a better future is possible for all. Today, that trust, that belief, has been rewarded. Advent peacekeeping forces are traveling across the world, carrying the greatest gift from the Elder. A revolutionary gene therapy, yes, but so much more. This is an end to disease, to decay, to pain. The beginnings of a new tomorrow, available to all of us, today! Truly, humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. That's exactly the scene I like to see. That he's been annoying us the whole campaign with his stupid messages. Getting his ass kicked. Alright, um. We really um on the aliens this time, Commander. They won't forget it. Miniaturized position. Munitions. Heavy weapon. With an extra use. Capacitor. This just stasis field. I mean, we're just gonna click on stasis field. You're not gonna see any more missions. I could actually also now give you AP that you should have gotten, but you know, it's fine. And, and a promotion here, a scout can get lethal, ghost grenade, or anatomy. Um, we want guaranteed crits, so anatomy. And you can get, well, rupture, saturation fire, and rapid fire, since you're the budget ranger you're gonna get rapid fire and with ap you would probably get lethal here absolutely guaranteed um yeah but as i said two separate squads for the two missions so those guys that were on this mission will not see any action in the other one two data caches oh we can uh, do absolutely nothing with that we get corpses from this mission All right, so now it's time to um, set up a squad for the final mission. Just one quick note, quick disclaimer. Uh, unfortunately, the um, final mission of the game currently does not support any mod gem enemies because um, it's super tricky to mod that mission and even more tricky to actually test if the modding works. So at the moment we're just gonna see baseline and with baseline I mean long war of the chosen enemies but we're not gonna see any any frosty boys, uh, any bio, um, bio shield people, various mutant variants and all the other mod gem added enemies. So given that we have mod gem classes and mod gem equipment that might get a little bit one-sided, but the final mission is a victory lap, 99% of the time anyway. So let's get our running shoes on and go on the victory lap in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.